Hey, what's up? This is Scott Talinsky with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to do the third and final lesson uh, for the functions in SAS tutorial. Uh, using the function that we've built on the previous two lessons, we're going to be putting it um, uh, to use inside of our each statement and then automating this process that we had started in the previous two tutorials. So, to get started, uh, I want to point out one thing about our each statement that I didn't mention in the previous lessons. Uh, the when you're calling the list item here, um, the function to call a list item is just this nth, and then this stuff, this uh, pound, and then in brackets. Uh, what it's doing is it's actually pulling the the text or like the string value. So um, one, um, it's outputting the word one. If we weren't to use this value here, um, it would not know what to do because one is not um, a valid value. So um, in this case, we're outputting um, the value here, and the value is, um, as you can see, it's this, these hexadecimal numbers, right? Um, the, the color values. Um, and the problem is here is if we wanted to then take this value and add 100 to it, um, SAS is going to get upset. Um, basically, it's not going to know what to do. Um, as you can see, it's outputting the string here, and then it's outputting plus 100. So um, that, of course, won't work. Um, if you need to access the value, which we, um, you know, it's not necessary here um, because we're just putting the hexadecimal, but it will work this way. You just do the nth of your list. As you can see, we save this. Um, it's going to give us the same thing, the hexadecimal, but in this case, um, it's the value, which you can do further transforming to. So what we're going to do is we're going to transplant this into this and have this all automate itself. So we're going to paste this here, and let's delete this. So this is going to say the color of whatever div we're in is going to be uh, the text contrast value, and we're going to pass in the nth, um, so the same as we're going to pass in the background. So in here, we're going to say the nth value, the second value in our list, so black, black plus 20. And then to switch it up, actually, let's um, have white and then white minus. 20. Uh, well, let's do a little bit more than that. Let, let's add white minus 50, just so you can get a little bit um, of an idea. So what it's going to do is it's going through this list. It's going to pass in black. Um, and so it's going to say one has a background color of black and the color, and it's going to look into this function and say, okay, well, black is less than 50%, so we're going to lighten this color black by 70%, and we're going to output that as our text color. And then um, it's going to run through, of course, for each of those things in our list. Um, when it gets to white, it's going to see that white is not uh, less than 50%, so it's going to darken it by 90% and output that here. If we save this and then um, check our SAS in our terminal, um, looks like everything's fine there. Let's look at our CSS just to check this out to make sure there's no issues. Um, let's see, looks like, um, yeah, this everything looks pretty good here. So when we refresh our page, we should see lighter text colors here and text that is 90% darker than its background, 90% darker, 70% lighter, 70% lighter. Um, let's get some more contrast in here. Let's change this to 92, and we should see white text on this one and light gray text on this one. So let's check our style.css, and as you can see, it's just about white here. It's a uh, lighter gray here, and um, so this is a really powerful function here. This is evaluating colors that's passed into it through a list and then transforming a different property based on those colors. Um, if you can only imagine all the uh, interesting sort of functions you can dream up with using if or else statements, um, pretty much the limit is your own imagination, as with a lot of SAS. So that's it for functions in SAS. 
Um, in the next couple lessons, we're going to be finally digging into Compass. And a Compass is extremely powerful. I'm really excited to get into that and show you guys some stuff. Um, and we're going to have lots of videos on the amazing things you can do with Compass. All right, until next time, this is Scott Talinsky with Level Up Tuts. And as always, you know, subscribe, let, uh, send us a comment, you know, send us an email, let us know what you want to see, or let us know if you have any questions. Um, and thanks for watching. Bye.